Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Smith here playing more Castle Burn. Just looking at a replay of uh, some gameplay that I did earlier. You know, you can never uh, study too much of your craft. Oh wait, what's going on? Why am I retreating back to the castle? It appeared I almost had them under control. Wait, they're coming. Our defenses are taking them down. Guys, study this, study this. What's, what's going on? All right, took care of that. Now, what's next? Wait, could this be? Could this be the infamous goblin rush strategy? I think it is. You guys tune in. I'm going to show you how to do the goblin rush strategy. It's going to get you a lot of cups and a lot of burnt castles. So check it out, guys. I destroyed their castle, and uh, you can do this too. Just watch this video, and we're going to go through it Victory. step by step. This is going to get you up in the ranks high up in the ranks on the castle burn and uh these are quick matches with this stuff watching another replay here let's just talk through the strategy so of course you uh place your mana sanctums now i will say that it is a little more difficult to do this on on other levels with this one right here i had the mana sanctum right in and the number one thing about the goblin rush is you want to rush you want to take your opponent by surprise by spawning a bunch of goblins when they're not expecting it to where they get overcome by the goblins and uh that's basically what we're going to do here so it's not going to take a whole lot of space in your uh camp as a matter of fact you're good with maybe placing down about two camps uh that's about 30 yeah that's about 30 uh goblins 30 goblins who knows what to do with those apparently this guy is not going to let's tune in so all i'm trying to do here is place my camp so that they're within the range of the mana sanctums because the number two thing is you want to get as much mana as you can uh as quickly as possible so here we go we're spawning the goblins now and they're off how many goblins we got there we got a maximum uh we got 30 goblins and as you can see they're coming in our guy uh, you can see that he has some vikings and some goblins he's not even trying to defend i don't know maybe he already knows what's going on but our goblins are taking yeah. him over Oh, here he comes. I don't know why he's not defending uh, this guy. All right, and my king is coming to look it over, see what's going on, and just in time for the explosion. So that's the Goblin Rush, guys. We're going to look at another replay and look at a different map and how to do this. So uh, this guy gave me quite a bit of time to build quite a bit of castles. Uh, I mean, camps, sorry. So that's good. Uh, well, that's good on my part, bad on his part. So he comes out with some archers, and they are trying to do the best they can. But I got my goblins running along the other side. And again, it is just too much for him. I usually try to play this particular deal with, um, what's this guy's name? Leon. Because of his special ability, if someone comes and tries to, you know, mess up your vibe there you can use leon's special ability which is like the block and uh kind of helps to protect them all right let's look at one more strategy try to look and see how it's done on different maps so this one has started out pretty early i think i got started in less than like a minute or so now this is another thing you can do i got the archers adding support and as you can see i spawned a lot of the archers in the middle so that some of them can go on the bridge some of them can go on the left side some can go on the right side and it's just a calamity of things happening here uh for our competitors he's trying to defend with those uh mouse mice mice guys shield mice i think that's what they're called shield mice but unsuccessful and i am coming in with my uh hero but it's too late all right 
So that is the Goblin Rush guys. I hope I explained it all right. Uh, but what we're going to do is talk through some real-time strategy. I'll be right back. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm back here with my handy, trusty playing device. I'm going to take it into battle and see if we can uh, do this here live, put some of the strategy into play. Now, I will say that this is actually difficult to do at certain uh, stages. Luckily, I got one here. This is actually probably the easiest one because you see both of the mana sanctums are within reach for me. So I'm going to automatically start a mana sanctum to start harvesting some mana. And uh, that's the first thing I want to do. Then I want to make sure I have some space just in case uh, they try to do something to me. Now the best time to do this attack is when they're upgrading to level 2. Uh, which is probably around right now if they've put their troops. I'm not upgrading. That's another thing. Uh, now, you know, of course, you start upgrading as soon as you add that second card. So uh, the bad thing about upgrading is your defenses on your castle are down. And I'm actually going to want to take advantage of their castles being down. So uh, I think this is probably enough to get started, 40 goblins. So let's just go ahead and let the mana work up. Now, what I want to do is probably start out on this side right here. And then I'm going to send my goblins in after him. See what, oh, what they have going on there. What do they have going on there? Go on goblins. Now, of course, I still have lots of space for more goblins here. Let's send them over on this side. And we'll add some more camps. Now is a good time to do my shield. So I'm taking down their camps so that they can't really defend that well. And then I'm sending some more goblins out. And this may be it, ladies and gentlemen. We're taking out their people with our, uh, their, their defenses, and we got it. So see how quickly that was, guys. You can work high up in the ranks by doing this same strategy. Uh, I've been kind of teetering back and forth between, uh, I guess, which would be Silver 1. And so I kind of use this strategy a lot wherever uh, there was an opportunity. And by opportunity, I mean wherever uh, the stage presented itself with an opportunity to do this sort of thing. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Use the goblin strategy. Comment below. Let me know if you need any tips or anything like that. Uh, and let me know what your name is in the game so we can play together. So thanks for hanging out with me today. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.